Singapore managed to turn this water into this. Yes, treated drinkable water that was previously sewage. And this is attributed to Singapore's new water, one of the four national taps to provide Singapore with a sustainable supply of water. So how did we manage to turn used water into new water? Let's find out. Water was always scarce in Singapore due to the lack of natural water resources. Water rationing was even imposed twice in the 60s as severe droughts hit the island where supply was cut off at fixed times every day, making water a precious resource. The public was continuously reminded through radio broadcasts and newspapers to reduce wastage and conserve water. In the 70s, the Public Utilities Board promoted water-saving ideas such as bathing only once a day or using buckets instead of hoses to wash vehicles. People were even fined for wasting water. And in 2005, Singapore introduced this little guy, also known as Water Wally. Water Wally was everywhere, in schools, posters, and even on TV. The mascot helped PUB put a face to water management issues and spread the message of water conservation to the public. Other than conservation efforts, Singapore has always recognised the importance in diversifying its water supply, where PUV focuses on four national taps. Water from local catchment, imported water, desalinated water, and new water. New water is Singapore's high-grade reclaimed water that has been purified with advanced membrane and UV technologies, which satisfies World Health Organization's requirements for safe drinking water. In fact, the quality of new water is so high that it is being mainly used for industrial and commercial uses, such as the semiconductor industry, which requires higher water quality than drinking water. Singaporeans take pride in the fact that they can drink clean water straight from the tap. But we have to always remember that it took the nation many years of research and development to initiate new water to augment Singapore's water supply. And also, Singapore's water journey is an excellent example that in spite of hardship and limited resources available, a clear goal, together with long-term planning and innovative strategies, you can achieve wonders. So what are some of the ways that you conserve water? Let us know in the comments and we will feature the best comment in the next episode of this series. And the best comment from the previous video is... Alright, thanks for watching this video. We will see you in the next episode of...